feel like you should start high. I don't know. I mean, I think just one day Liz turned to me and she said, we're going to do the center. <laughs> and I said, okay. That's the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then she found you guys. Yeah, it was a little bit of a combination of it had to be kids, it had to be food, it had to be farm. It, of course, had to be called Sylvia. And what do we do with all of that together? I've always thought it was such a graceful way of getting at some really basic issues of justice and equity um, by giving kids access not only to healthy food, which Dodi you talked about as sort of a, um, a health issue, but also the tremendous sense of agency that the kids got. I remember that from the very first, going to an event, I think it was here, and um, them talking about the things they had learned how to cook, and you could see like the way their shoulders kind of squared a little bit. I remember when we built out the, the first kids' kitchen. The students came through the front door. They came, walked down the red staircase, and it was eyes wide open. You heard giggles that came about. And then when it was like, take a knife, and let's do the tunnel, and learn how to chop. I remember the meeting we had to discuss the transition to teens. This is really getting serious, because we're really trying to change people's life. I think it's not only about learning how to cook, but giving people skills that then they can have a job to give youth not only the possibility of creating their own healthy foods, but also uh, entering the workforce uh, with skills that they can use. But I think the best way to talk about the future is to have some young people show up. All right. Look. Hey, how are you? You're shot in your belly. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, Dobby. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi. Did you know that you liked teaching or? Not really. I never really saw myself being a teacher. Is it something you would like to do again to teach Most younger definitely. kids? Most definitely. Yeah? Most definitely. What would you like adults in your community to know or to do for you in this area of healthy eating? I think that adults should be more aware of good um, food that there is instead of what we used to. One thing um, that I would like to see in my community, I'm from the Bronx, and I would really like to see more vegetables, fresh vegetables, like you know the corners, yeah. the spots. Mm -hmm. It's never too late to like start a new chapter and start new things. Just learn how to cook healthier. Do you think about what the Sylvia Center has given to each one of you? If you had to sum it up in a couple of words, what would you say? I would say unity with families and friends. Uh, engagement with young people who want to improve lives. That's too many words. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> Growth. New endeavors. Sharing our experiences with you and everyone else. Inspiration about what's possible. 